Welcome back to HQ. We're on the verge of learning where Arliss Boardingham will play his college football. The Florida Gators among the choices for the Van Nuys California star. Keep in mind the Gators already have a top 20 class and have added four blue chip transfers. Boardingham would be a, cue, a coup, I should say, for a new coach, Billy Napier. All right, let's bring back Arliss Boardingham. And Arliss, we've kept our viewers on edge long enough. The stage is yours. Tell us where you'll be playing your college football. Um, for the three days, for the next three to four years, I will be continuing my college and academic career at. All right, Arliss, there you have it. The Florida Gators is the choice. I'm sure family and friends helped you along the way. Tell us how you came to this huge decision. Let me start by saying that this, this whole recruitment process is thankful to God. Nothing in this whole process will not happen because of him. And he blessed me with so many opportunities and so many things around me, and I'm just so thankful that he's here. Uh, next, I would like to thank my family, my grandparents, my uncles, my aunties, everybody in my family uh, helped me in some uh, one other way or another to help me uh, get to this decision. Uh, I don't want to thank the people in the school, you know, the principals, the athletic directors, Rick Prezant, Ms. Ari Bennett, Mr. Jose Naval, Ms. Ms. Casey Bolden. I think that they have a huge part to play in this Birmingham community, and I felt like because of them, this athletic was able to feel as like the way it was. Uh, next, I want to thank uh, all the reporters that have ever helped me along the way. I want to thank uh, Mr. Connor Morchette, Mr. Eric Tonheimer, Mr. Teresa Kyle, and Mr. Greg Biggins, because it's, it's one thing to be a great athlete, but to get it published by some of these guys, these great people, is another blessing in itself, and I can't, I can't thank them enough. I also want to thank all my friends, because a lot of them have been through thick and thin with me, and have helped me travel along this journey a long time. They always see the game film. They don't always see the, the late nights after practices. Uh, just countless hours. It's just hard work that's been put in. So I want to thank them as well. And thank you to you guys for having me and letting me be on here and I'm not my commitment to you guys. It's Arliss Boardingham. He's headed uh, to Gainesville to play for the Florida Gators. Arliss, we appreciate you taking some time and best of luck in the near future in Gainesville. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Also, one more thing, just want to give a shout out to Coach Bonner, my my top one coach. Cannot imagine where I'd be without him. Thank you for having me. Go you got it. it. You got it. A lot of thanks for Arliss, and why not? He's going to be a Florida Gator next season, and this is what they are getting. I mentioned the position of rank, the state rank. This is an athlete. He can play tight end. He can play wide receiver. In high school, he played on both sides of the ball. So Napier is getting himself a player. Let's welcome in 24-7 Sports National Recruiting Analyst Greg Biggins. And Greg, he gave you a shout out as well. <laughs> he chooses Florida. What kind of player are the Gators getting? Yeah, no, I, I love the positional versatility. I, I love the ability to play, you know, three, even four different positions. And he did at the high school level, uh, tight end, big jumbo receiver. He even played some running back and played some linebacker, outside backer, a little bit of edge rusher in there as well. Also love the track background. So he's just an all around uh, really good looking athlete. He'll play kind of like a flex jumbo uh, tight end slash H back type of position for Florida. And, and I, I like it a lot. He's probably closer to 6'3 than, than 6'4, but probably closer to 230 than 220. So he's a big, strong guy. And I'm not comparing him to this guy, but uh -huh. from a, a body standpoint, kind of has like a Vernon Davis type build. Like I mentioned before with the track background, he's a really good athlete who can run, body control, strong hands. And I, I really think he's a player who, you know, maybe doesn't come in and, and play uh, or start right away. But I definitely think he can be an impact guy, a special teams guy. And I, I like his long-term future and potential for sure. Hey, hey Greg, I'm curious, Greg, in terms of where Coach Napier will all ultimately settle in with him, do you suppose it's going to be that tight end spot or is he going to be tempted to use him in multiple positions? No, he, he said he'd be at, at tight end. Uh, coach Piegler, the, the new tight end coach, did a great job. And then Kerry Colbert, who, who actually knew uh, Kerry was the USC wide receiver coach. And so right when KC came over to Florida, uh, one of his first offers was to Arliss. So kind of a connection, a so, Southern California connection there. But he'll come in as a tight end, 
And I, I do believe that's where he probably has the most long-term upside in terms of just the frame. Uh, he'll be a tough cover for a linebacker or even a safety because he's, like I say, he's probably too big for most safeties and he moves and, and runs probably, you know, too well for most linebackers. So he'll be a difficult matchup for a lot of defenses to scheme against. He is recruiting analyst for 24-7 Sports. We're talking with Greg Biggins. Greg, we appreciate the insight on the latest coup for the Florida Gators. Their class moving inside the top 20 nationwide. 24-7 Sports is where you turn to for wall-to-wall -wall team coverage during this recruiting season. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.